In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? They did day 121, then they immediately played the opening with the credits rolling. All right. We're dropping the princess off, right? It's pretty beautiful, yeah. King King Kong! King Kong! Oh! Oh, Earthy got a fucking tramp stamp now. Okay, okay. Indoor plumbing balls. Yeah, it's called civilization. They got fucking toilets. Amazing. <laughs> Compared to us that lives in a cave. Restart. Umber Palace don't got shit on the Ruby Palace that Kaiba's waiting for us. I mean, yeah, we have a fucking cave. They have a castle. What's our reward? I swear to God, if the special reward is the fucking Lolly here offering herself a hand in marriage to the royal family, I mean, I feel like that's how Remonster could end, knowing that's how, you know, degenerate shit like that started. But, like, we'll see what special reward we got. The same bed? <laughs> The moon is red. The time of awakening is near. <laughs> it's excessively open in here, and the bed is too soft to sleep on. This is why I said Stockholm Syndrome. We kidnap these girls, we put them in a fucking cave, they sleep on the fucking dirt rock bed, and now they can't even enjoy this, bro. <laughs> Goblin baby already so matured, while human baby still shit. Nicely scented room. If I don't have the smell of goblin shit in the air, I can't sleep. <laughs> A huge ass bed, though. <laughs> that red hair girl always sneaks in. It's actually impressive how, like, Dami's always there because she's main bitch, but, like, that red hair girl always fucking sneaks in. Princess? <laughs> Costco card, gold. Unlimited access to whatever we want? Oh, stop trying to scare us. You won't. You're He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Let's start a fucking war against the kingdom. Just for that. She's too smart! We should correct her. We're basically a hired mercenary group for the kingdom. Honestly, it's a good ally to have. But we should correct her before we leave. We're leaving? Okay. We're gonna ever see this kids again? Maybe we will in the future. I'm not sure if we're gonna get a season 2 for this though. Nice, Spice! We're gonna have like a party episode? What are we gonna do to finish off the, you know, the anime? We're gonna the anime. But she still can't get a kid. Is she gonna get is she gonna get pregnant? Pregnante? Is, is, is she gonna get a baby by the end of this episode? Because that's the whole thing that we were dealing with the last episode. You're still a damp here. That's crazy. Okay, which means Wow, best anime dad. Okay. Oh, the insecurity here isn't about the baby. Like right now? If there was a couch in front of these dudes, 
and Dami was sitting on it. That would be the thumbnail. Okay. Okay, I mean, Dami's kind of going all out. Now what? You gonna level up? Evolve? I need to grind more. She might be changing. Maybe she can evolve soon. Because of the mana that was Oh, our kids grew up already, man. The moon is still red. The time of awakening is near. Dami? Here we go. World Epic. The Epic mentioned again. Legend of the Black Eclipse Demon. Subcharacter Dami has evolved. She gonna get that form now. Title Consort of the Thing Thing has changed the Consort of the Thing Lord. So at least one of the black boxes, the white boxes, you know, got translated now. But something of the Lord. Dami is now Consort of Block Lord. With the status of that now active, it's been Concube. Eligible candidates. We're gonna find concubines? We're gonna find more hoes? We're she gonna have a new form? Let's see it. Ooh, oh, the color, the skin tone changed. I feel like this is racist. I feel like this is racist. She went from like turquoise skin color to pale white skin, skin, skin color. This has gotta be fucking racist, bro. Take those fucking glasses off. Hmm? She got a new name? I'm happy for you, okay. Hey, does that mean she's also conquered the sun, like Nezuko? Because the sun is background, right? And she doesn't seem to be getting infected by the, the sunlight. Now make love and get baby. Alright, back home now. What are we doing? I missed that dark, dank cave. Smelling like goblin shit. We should probably do some renovations in the cave. Uh, what's going on? Oh! We... Renovations have been done. Oh! This is our new lair now? The cave has evolved into some kind of, like, underground castle? Cool? That's what they've been doing for a month? Yeah, it's not... I bet Earth Day did everything. Just a few renovations. I mean, Kichi and like, um, uh, his girlfriend, they would not been able to fit in the cave anymore. So actually, this was necessary because they got too fucking big. Hey, it's the rotten food eater. <laughs> I guess it's kind of fun to see like her cork too because I don't know much about her other than she likes to eat rotten food. <laughs> That's right, get to work, slaves, on the fucking farm. Yeah, she got a fucking flower on her head now. Has she been pollinated? Does that mean she's also been pregnante? Okay, Dorian. Farm, ranch, new place? What the fuck are these tiniest cats? Cats. Okay. Very cute. Very cute. Oh no, what's wrong? Gopji! No! Oh shit, is it Gopji's time to fucking die? Here's what I think is gonna happen. I don't, it, I don't think Gobi is gonna die. It's gonna be some dumbass fucking humor where Gobi is gonna be like, 
come closer. Please, I have my last words. And Ogro and the other girls are gonna take it seriously. And they're gonna like, what's wrong, Kobji? And Kobji's gonna be like, can I cop one feel of your girlfriend's titties? It's gonna be something like that, bro. Oh shit. Deathbed, Gobji. Oh no. Yo. <laughs> Let Gobji hit the elves one time, bro. Just one time, please. Will someone fucking take one for the team and let Gobji just like die in peace? He can just nut in peace and just go off to the afterlife. Oh, I... Okay, so they're not gonna go down the degenerate humor route. They're gonna actually have a wholesome grandfather meeting grandchildren moment. Okay, I can take that. He is... Like, we're all descendants of Gobji, kind of, right? Is, is that how that works? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> For what? Okay, new... Apollo! Apostle Lord. Kanami. Earthay Plus. Says you, bro. Says you, you are the laziest fucking namer, bro. Yep, exactly. He literally found every kid and was like, you're a goblin, so you're gonna be gob something. Gob this, gob that. Gobji! No! One more hip thrust. Come on, give give me one more hip thrust in bed. Come on, move your hips. Come on. <laughs> Grandpa, no! Grandpa, there's kids around. Grandpa, come on, Grandpa. <laughs> Did this fucking happen? <laughs> You know the line? Like, you know, person died smiling. Gobji died back into the fucking very bad. You know what? Salute. Might I say that, uh, oh, I'm gonna get fucking canceled for this take. Guys, guys, Mushoku Tensei Father's Day episode? Or Gobji passing away? What, what hit you more <laughs> emotionally? Nah, I can't be making that comparison. I can't be making that comparison. <laughs> Gobji, easy, right? Gobji, easy. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I think that um, it's a pretty entertaining, funny way to end Gobji. I just wish that he hit one of the elves before he passed out, but you know what? Salute. Yeah, he was like 21 or something, bro. You're a goblin tribe. You're making babies, man. たとえ短かろうと生き抜いてやると決めているのだ。自陣を見送ってやると信用じゃない。この回は旅の成果を見せてくれ。エダンパラベラムの喧嘩大会だ。オッケー。面白そうやな。ファックディーズキッズアップ
Because, like, look at this difference. It's like a titan versus a fucking human, you know? Just bare hand. I want to actually see this fight. <laughs> You're going to fucking die. What, are you going to blink at me? I don't care. I'm going to throw fuck you up. That's pretty good at dodging. <laughs> Every time she moves, ugh. Another round between these two? That's right, new name. Yeah, remember back in the day when we would beat the shit out of Kichi? Just bare hands. Okay. It looked like they kind of saved the budget for that one clash, right? What's going on? Konkai no Kenka Matsuro Kekawa, Ika no Yoni Nat. Sanyi, Kanami Champ. Yoi, Asue Champ. Goi, Burasanai, Neki Kum. Hachi, Fuki Sam. What the fuck? She made a Jewy place? Akagami <laughs> Shoto. 11th place, the short haired redhead. I just want you to understand this. We are now finishing the season off. This girl is one of the few girls that sleeps in bed with Ogro with Dami on the side. Different names now I know, but you know, I just want you to know he does not even know her fucking name. None of these humans gets names until they get knocked up, have a baby, and then he's like, oh yeah, your name is this. <laughs> あたらしく調合したお酒もいっぱいありますよ。はよ。これで is this hinting at season 2 content? I think it is. There's the ending. I think it is. Is it going to be actually a high park? The moon is still red. Licia in Appraisal Isekai versus Princess from Remaster. But who do you think is better? Licia? Or the princess here. The moon is still red. Let's go! New drip! <laughs> what? Something bad's gonna happen? What the fuck? Why? why, why? I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's, that's the episode. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I guess he does eat, right? He, he, that's his entire thing. His ESP abilities plus four, you know? He fucking eats people and then he gets their skills, but I. That is the, ep the uh, end of uh, Re-Monster. Listen, listen. Let's be totally honest here for a second. Was this anime an objectively good anime? Fuck no. No one thinks that, right? No one thinks that. However, I had a lot of fun watching it. There's a lot of degenerate dumb shit that happens, you know, with the whole premise of an isekai character being a goblin and fucking impregnating and kidnapping and, you know, plundering and shit like that. So it was really interesting in how they skirted around the edges to make it a little bit NSFW, but also not fucking, you know, triggering social media and getting this shit canceled because they're hiding behind fucking Mushoku Tensei right now. But honestly, it was a pretty enjoyable anime. In terms of an overall objective rating, I'd say that this is like... Probably 6 out of 10. Maybe there's a range between 6 and 7. I probably wouldn't put this beyond 7. But I think that's a safe range. 6 to 7 out of 10 in terms of what what you know what constitutes towards a good anime. But in terms of entertainment, just for dumb fun, I say that it's like an easy 7.5 or even an 8. I enjoyed my time watching this anime. I hope you guys did too. And who knows, if season 2 comes out, maybe we can check it out. But if you're still here... If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, 
check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.